Having money alone is not going to improve your lifestyle. It's not going to give you the financial and time freedom you so desire. This video will reveal everything you need to know about money, freedom, desire, lifestyle. What money truly buys is security. The more money you have, the more indestructible your financial security is. Money is the backup plan that makes you feel good if anything goes wrong when you play your cards right. Lifestyle, on the other hand, is when you are always productive, never burn out, and possibly never retire. And you may never need to fall back on that retirement nest egg that you have built up. You know it's there, but you don't need to worry about it. Dropping too fast, too soon to zero, cause there's always enough income coming in to sustain your daily, weekly, monthly activities. As someone who has been there, done that, when I switched my 7 years career working as an engineer up to 2012 to being a licensed financial advisor where I have helped and advised hundreds of clients with countless testimonials you can verify below. What I am about to share with you here is distilled liquid gold. Before that, I have a question for you. To what age someone, maybe like yourself, can realistically work and be competitively employed? 50, 55, maximum of 60 anyway. So if your goal is to retire at age 45 and you live up to age 95, you are screwed. Trust me, you are screwed in most cases la. The amount of money you would need to retire at 45 and spend the next 50 years trying to live that enjoyable desired lifestyle is huge. Trust me when I say that number will blow your mind. Oh, but Liu, I have a frugal lifestyle. Yes, ask Mr. Inflation and Mrs. Medical Inflation whether they live a frugal lifestyle or not. When people say, I need to accumulate a retirement nest egg, in their mind, what they really want is 100 million. This is what they really mean even though they never articulate it. But realistically, they know they might end up having 2 to 3 million or maybe 5 to 6 million. And it's not gonna be enough when you are complacent. Here's another question for you. If you have 2 million, are you willing to pay first class plane tickets and 5 stars hotel every time when you travel? say once a month, half a dozen times a year. No, right? Because you are not financially comfortable enough to blow money like that. But let's say you are a seminar speaker who gets paid to deliver keynotes at conferences like Gary V. Your travel and accommodation expenses is tax deductible expenses for your business. You build a lifestyle that allows you to get paid on first class plane tickets and five stars hotel every time you fly or travel versus you probably need in your mind 20 million before you are 100% comfortable doing that. When you build a lifestyle, you can far more easily achieve what you are looking for than to think I'm going to work my ass off to get that money. Now, maybe you like fine dining or Michelin star restaurants cost you like 1000 per meal. How much you think you want to see in your investment or bank account before you are totally okay spending money eating at Michelin star restaurants four times, six times a week? Probably 30 million. Insane, I know. Now, let's say you are a food reviewer. You build a lifestyle business around this in which restaurants invite or even pay you to eat at their establishments. You like luxury fashion? Establish yourself as a fashion influencer. Build a business and lifestyle around that. So brands send you free stuff to wear and review. See, now you are not forking out any money from your retirement nest egg. It is more financially productive and self-sustaining and you feel little, if any, remorse or guilt compared to spending your own dollar and cents on any lifestyle or luxury stuff. 
Otherwise, you get yourself into this self-limiting mindset or thinking of everything I put my money into must have a return on investment. You end up with 0% of your millions of retirement assets going towards improving your lifestyle and you die with that. Oh, but Liu, I want to drive my dream Lambo or Bugatti. There's no chance I could build a lifestyle around that, right? First, I'll prove you wrong with this and second genius you can always rent it for one day a week or a month rather than buying it or owning it just get it out of your system sorry children the most ridiculous thing people do is they buy one of these supercars when they can barely afford it becoming their most prized possession which they end up don't drive it as much it's just sitting there in the garage because they treat the car as an investment so all they do is, is stare at it clean it polish it for what but the people who really do not care when the car is dented scratch wear and tear or even crash it are the ones who have probably like 100 million and above net worth and if you care about social status that comes with owning half a million dollars supercar you already lose because i think that's the biggest mistake because if you have been brainwashed by the western culture then yes you might need so much more money to keep up with the social status game for me i don't care to play the game at all time and decision freedom is worth a lot more to me than social status now i'm not saying that money is not important i'm simply saying money is there to first provide you with financial security and then its function evolves to support your time freedom i've got enough time freedom already i want less of it says nobody ever okay you can't get more time than 24 hours a day but you can certainly buy more time with money and these guys would gladly pay you billions to be 30 years younger again now that may sound very atas but know that even broke buggers out there orders food to be delivered to his doorstep huh? that's also buying more time with money look maybe this is the first time you hear such refreshing financial advice from me and you are right because that is the reason i was able to amass bucket loads of clients testimonial which you can easily verify using google almost unheard and never seen in the industry if you want second opinion from a licensed professional hit me up using the contact form in the description section below want me to critique your retirement plan and strategy whether you are at a risk of running out of money before running out of life the same way i've helped my clients here gain 10 times more clarity and certainty before they decide to retire early if that sounds like something you want to do go to the link in the description below and you know time and tight wait for no man right clients regularly told me I should have done this sooner when I was younger and I do not want to say I told you so five years from now now in case you do not know who am I please do a background check by searching CF Liu testimonials on Google and bear in mind I'm also a new Straits Times business columnist if you are not interested just check out the two videos on the screen now they are the videos YouTube things you want to watch